unfortunately, this is my last visit on my summer break, and the weather's not looking good. We are apparently in phase five weather, which means every single ride in the park, including Justice League, is not open right now, which the park isn't even open yet anyway, but when we're phase five weather, even though the rides can't open, nothing is able to open, so. I guess by default, I'll have to go to Justice League first because I can't go up to Eagle first because I know Justice League will open way before Screaming Eagle does. So that's unfortunate that my uh, last visit on my summer break is not going to be ideal. Well, at least for right now, but we'll have to make the most of it. On the bright side, I should be hitting 1300 max scores on it today. So that should be exciting. I'm a 1284, I think if I remember correctly. So that's a really good amount. And I started the season at Dolphin, so I'm already going on my 300th max score just in 2023. So that's uh, pretty good. Once uh, it's go time, uh, we'll be heading to Justice League first because well, that'll be the first thing to open. After about 25 minutes of the park being open, Justice League is ready for action. I'm at 1284, gotta get up to 1300. So that's 16 max scores I must hit. Let's do this. Really good first round there. I was uh, really close to 900,000 with the second flash on the first go. So that's nothing to complain about right there. Let's go for uh, another one because, well, I want to hit uh, 13 up by the end of the day, so I'm 15 off. Let's see if we can get another one. That first round was good. Got a couple more laps adjustedly because nothing else is open. Plus, I got to get to 1300 anyway, so might as well go for round four, I guess. We finally have some action going on with some of the coasters. Screaming Eagle is doing their test runs now, and then we'll be going down to the boss once we do Eagle. Eagle running good. The track being wet made a whole world of difference here. Forgot how fast it runs in the rain and pretty good airtime on every single hill. Now I'm gonna go down to the boss here once Ryan gets off because he's in the front of that one. I was in front of this train just now. So uh, yeah, Scrambling Eagle was amazing today. Ryan, thoughts on Scrambling Eagle? What'd you think? Rain rides on wooden coasters are better than normal rides. Oh, I agree. Like that was remarkably smooth too. Like. I didn't know rank made such a big difference between smoothness. I was shocked. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, if that's running good, I can't wait to see Boss, how that one runs. So we're gonna head down that direction and take a ride on that, but I don't think that one's open yet. I saw it test, I think once, haven't seen it run a second train. So kind of makes me worried that something isn't going right over there, but we'll head over there uh, right now and take a look at it. Also, Catwoman Whip is now upright, and that tells me that Freeze might be opening fairly soon. So, we're gonna go take a run on the boss to outruns. We just did two rides on the boss. I did twice in the front. Ryan did once in the second row and once in the second in the back row. What'd you think? Second row was pretty good, but rough. Well, you're on a wheel, Se please. Second to back row was great, but the trim hit really hard. Yeah, I didn't think it really turned that bad, honestly. It was uh, really light, actually, at least what I thought it was. But then again, I was in the front. Like, you were in the back where you felt it more, so. And it's funny how I still got airtime going off the drop. Yeah, I didn't really get any airtime on either of my two rides because I was stapled hard, but it was still fun. Really good laterals today, though, that's for sure. The last turn was really good. And actually, uh, on my first of my two rides, we actually stopped on the final brakes for, I don't know, five seconds, and then we kept going into the station. So that was a weird experience there, which I think that's only ever happened to me one other time. So that was quite odd. We're gonna go check Mr. Freeze out, because we saw that one testing a few times. And if that one's not open, I think we'll go check American Thunder. Well, that was absurd. We just rode back row of Mr. Freeze, and man, that ride was awesome. Oh, it's so think? good. So good. Yeah, that was uh, right on par with Boss for me for today. I mean, Ryan said that this is running way better than Boss. I think I would slightly take Boss over this for today, but they're close. I mean, we're going to try the front row now, see how that compares. But that was a tough one to beat there. Back row might have a beat for today in terms of the front row, but we'll judge it once we ride front. After riding the front row on Mr. Freeze, I think the consensus between us is that the back row is a little bit better for today. In the past, I said the launch felt equal in the front and the back. Now I'm starting to think it's definitely better, at least towards the back of the train. 
front was still good. Like coming out of the inverted top hat backwards gave some good air time, but I don't know. I feel like it wasn't as intense this time in the front. Ryan said we didn't go up as high on the spike, which I definitely felt that. Did you notice that? And the second ride, we didn't go as high up on the spike. Yeah, but the valley at the bottom of the spike, that was it really intense today. Really, really intense. Yeah, it was really intense at the back as well. I mean, in the front, I did have that hardcore grab at the very bottom of it. The grab didn't really last through the whole overbank like it oftentimes does. It was like through part of it, but back is definitely best for today. And uh, then we're to go try American Thunder now. So let's head over there. That was some scary ejector I was getting in the back row of the red train for crying out loud. Normally the blue train runs better, but they're only running red train today. That was amazing. What'd you think of that? That's so awesome. I, I got a front row, then a back row, and I think the back row is running better. Yeah, I never rode the front, but back was amazing today. Was it better than Sunrise? I mean, Eagle, I think it definitely was better than Freeze by a little bit. Boss, I actually don't know. That might have been a little better than Boss, actually, for me. I know, Brian, you definitely thought that was better than Boss. Better than boss. I don't know, I need to put some more thought into it, but that's a dang good ride today. Back row of red train is definitely better than the front of red train, which, yeah, good thing I decided to try the back row instead of going for the front, which I've ridden the front a lot in the past. I'm like, you know, let's try the back row. So we did that, and uh, they were gonna go try Batman now. Let's see how that one's running. Tons of whip in the back. Holy cow, it was really good. Did you have fun? Oh, so good. So whippy, so intense. Yeah, the course crews were the best part of the ride for today. It was so, so good. Whippy. Yeah, if the course crew on Alpha guys like that, that'd be insane because that zero G roll and corkscrew are, in my opinion, the weakest of those types of elements found on a BNM invert. I have a thing of what the best invert would be. Alpengeist first half, Silver Bullet second half. I think you might have said that a while back, but I don't remember you saying that in the video. But Batman the Ride, awesome ride today. Since the coaches have all reopened, I haven't been doing Justice League. I'm going to do a couple more rides on this now, and then go up to the boss. And Whoa, walk on. No way. Ryan had to head out, but I'm marathoning this until closing. So let's see how many more we can get. we got an hour and a half left until closing this, but I'm recording this. Good thing I started the marathon a little earlier than usual. We got 10 deliveries, so that's just wonderful. I think this happened last time as well. It was out of the time before, I forget, but this is making uh, getting the 1300 a little bit trickier than it would be otherwise. Then again, I'm already six away from it, so I can definitely still get it. I'm only get it up in like, I don't know, 30 minutes, so I should be good. Got about a half hour left, but boy, am I on fire right now. First off, I got my first ever double max just in the back row, so that's cool. And then I double max into my 1300th max score, so that's excellent. I went down again, but I'm waiting it out because we got the 10 minutes so close. I'll see if I can get one, if not two more rides in. Some other thing I forgot to mention, there have been multiple rides tonight where I've broken 900,000 in the first screen, which is incredible. One of the rides, I had like 985,000 coming out of the room with a joker in the car, which I have never had that high on the car. That's just amazing how good it have But yeah, we got a little bit of time left, but stay strong.
despite the weather causing havoc the first half of today, I thought that today in general was a great end to my summer. My final ride count was 17 on Justice League, 2 on Boss, 2 on Mr. Freeze, and then 1 on American Thunder, Batman, and Screaming Eagle. Today's highlights, I think, are just the crazy marathon I did at Justice League at the end, honestly. It was just ridiculous how many double max I was getting. I think I got, I think, 3 or 4. I don't remember, honestly. But it's kind of hilarious because I maxed it over 1,300 times now. Eagle's running good, but really, any coach I rode today was exceptional. But I did not get on Mayan Train, Pandemonium, Ninja, or Boomerang, but I did get on the top 5 here. So, really good day. Before I end up the vlog, I figured I'd share some of the highlights of the summer. Start of summer happens. Uh, I believe the first major highlight is that Ellis maxes out Justice League for his first time, and that eventually sprawls into a couple of other things I'll be getting into later, at least one other thing I should say. But yeah, it was cool that Ellis finally maxed it after coming really close to maxing it at the end of April. A couple weeks later, I rode Aries Alpine Coaster for my first time. That was my third Alpine Coaster I've ever ridden, and it was awesome to get on that. And a couple weeks later, I make it to Dollywood for the first of two trips this year, where I got to get some much needed re-rides on Lightning Rod to see if it was good like everyone said it was, or if there's some people that don't like it as much. I didn't know how I would stand on the issue because I had ran it once in 2016 and I didn't remember anything about it. So it was good to get back there and also get on Big Bear Mountain for my first time and see how good that ride is. We actually did do the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster as well. Uh, about a week after that ended, the last minute Southeast trip, I guess you could say, occurred. That trip consisted of Fun Spot Atlanta, Six Flags Over Georgia, Carowinds, Dollywood a second time, and Holiday World. It was awesome to get a couple rides in on Airy Force One for my first time and see how that RMC was and it was wild. Six Flags Over Georgia, Georgia could have been better because Goliath was unfortunately closed the whole time, so I didn't get the chance to experience it. On the bright side, I did actually run into Airtime Thrills of Six Flags Over Georgia, which is cool. And I went way too insane on the Justice League, breaking 600,000, which I had no idea about. Then Carowinds, it was awesome to get back on Fury 325, Intimidator, and After Rain, which redeemed itself from last year. And it was also my first time riding Nighthawk, which was nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. It was actually one of the best rides in the park from my experience. Dollywood, I got a much better appreciation for Mystery Line, because I wasn't crazy about it after my first trip there. But after after marathoning it so many times, I realized just how much fun I had on it. And so it's my third favorite ride in the park with Big Bear Mountain is second in Lightning Rod top spot. I know that's controversial, but Thunderhead for me is fourth place. Holiday World. Actually, I'll get into something about Holiday World in just a second. But Raven was unfortunately closed, so I didn't get the chance to experience it. I got to keep my streak of riding Thunderbird every year since it first opened alive, so that was exciting. And it was awesome to get better rides on Legend and also get back on the insanity that is Voyage. So that was really good fun. I mentioned that Ellis maxing out Justice League for his first time eventually sprawled into another event, and that takes us to a week after Holiday World, actually exactly one week where me, my brother Scott, and then Ellis and Ryan got a quad max. Actually, two of them. So that was exciting to do that. And also, uh, I forgot to mention before my first Dollywood trip, I hit my first of three milestones on Justice League, which was my 1100. I think about a week later after the quad maxes was my Pennsylvania trip, which that actually was supposed to be when the last minute trip was to like Fun Spot Atlanta, Over Georgia, and all those parks that I mentioned. Due to the wildfires up in Canada, those trips were pushed back. Start of July was when my Pennsylvania trip happened. So I got to Kennywood, which Steel Curtain wasn't open, unfortunately, but Fam's Revenge was awesome. I ran into Arcade. Matt, which was amazing, always wanted to meet him, and uh, got the chance to do that. And then Hershey Park, first day actually, I actually enjoyed Sky Rush, which I did not expect to. I thought it would be one of my least favorite rides of the trip, and it was one of the better ones. I still think it's overrated, which I know that's controversial for a lot of you, but I thought it was just too much, honestly. Between the restraints causing discomfort, yes, they did cause some discomfort on at least four of my rides, and uh, the whole thing was just too aggressive, especially in the back row, so. Sky Rush isn't my type of ride. Storm Runner was awesome to experience, and here. <laughs> Hearing that for the first time was amazing, like in person. And uh, Wildcat's Revenge, which I actually thought I wasn't gonna get to ride that because of some incident that happened with like I think it's a quarter or whatnot. But I thought I would miss out on it, but I did get to experience it. Knobles, Phoenix was good, Twister was good. I did actually get on flying turns, which I did not expect to do. Impulse was good. It was overall a really nice park, and it's too bad that the crowds were large, so that didn't help. But also the weather in Pennsylvania was wrecking havoc. Full day at Hershey Park, I got a Zen ride on Sky Rush, and then five back to back on Storm Runner. So that's pretty cool. And I also got good rides on Wildcat's Revenge, Great Bear, and Candemonium, and also Fahrenheit. That's takes us to Six Flags Great Adventure. That was my most anticipated part of that trip. For one, I got US Justice League completion, which is something I've really been wanting to do ever since I got really good at Justice League. That was cool to get on that. And also get on my top US bucket list coaster at the time, which of course was King Daka. I was really nervous I was not gonna get to ride that one, even more so than El Toro, which I did get to ride that one as well. Well, I was at Holiday World. I found out that King Daka had the launch cable and thing snapped. So that meant it was down for a while, but they reopened it not long before my trip to Six Flags Great Adventure. So I was able to experience it, which was great. And also get on Nitro, 
Raptor, which even though I was underwhelmed by, I thought it was a decent ride. Get on my second RMC Raptor with Jersey Devil, and unfortunately get nearly knocked out and unconscious on Joker. So that was just wonderful. Great Adventure was uh, awesome. It was awesome to get back there because uh, I visited in 2014 when I wasn't an enthusiast. Didn't remember anything about it, so I needed to get back there and get a full experience there. Joining Park is up next, and it was awesome to get on Steel Force, see how it compares to Mavo, which I'm going to tell you right now, it's nowhere near as good because that mid-course break run on Steel Force, it turned the second half, which was unfortunate. I was used to Mamba flying through the mid-course and going insane on the return run. Talon and Hydra were also neat to experience, and even though I thought both of those were extremely mid BNM loopers, I thought they were decent rides and possessed. I was not expecting that to be my second favorite ride in the park. I thought it was really good. I actually got a Zen ride on that thing, which is kind of cool. And then we had a couple extra hours at Kennywood, which I only took a back around of Fair Revenge and then another round of Skyrocket. Man, it was all right. A week after my Pennsylvania trip ended, I hit my second milestone on Justice League this year, which is my 1200th max score. A couple days later, I ran into Joey from Single Rider Coasters. It was the second time here, and he got on Screaming Eagle and Batman for his first time. So that was really cool. And we also got a couple trimless rides on the boss. One of my favorite parts of the summer takes us a couple weeks later to the boys at Silver Dollar City. That was an awesome experience having Ryan and Ellis come hang out with me and my brother at Missouri's Best Theme Park. And we got several amazing rides on Outlaw Run, Time Traveler, Powder Keg, Wildfire, and our last ever rides, I believe so on fire in the holes. That's really unfortunate the fire hole is not going to be around after this year. It was fun while it lasted. Got a couple Zen rides on Outlaw Run, which is awesome. And also, I forgot to mention something about Dollywood. I did get a rollback on Lightning Ride, so that was pretty cool. Didn't expect to get it, but it happened. It was awesome. A week after Silver Dollar City takes us to Kings Island, where, much like Thunderbird, I got to keep my streak of riding Orion every year since it first opened alive. That's two BMs I've ridden every year since it's opened. Beast was really good as well, and Vertigo was awesome fun. Diamondback was good. Mystic, unfortunately, was underwhelming. And even Racer, I wasn't as into this year. Getting a lights on right on Flight of Fear was possibly the highlight of the trip, honestly. It was awesome to get it after striking out on it in 2022. It was good to get back to Kings Island and also get a uh, night ride completes in there, which is awesome. Next major thing was I actually rode my first ever SBF spinner, which I wasn't able to get any footage of that running because of the limited operating window. It was cool to get on that. And then uh, I think that brings us to about right here, which is uh, when I hit my 1300 max score. Overall, it was an awesome summer. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Before you click off of this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content just like this. So I'd appreciate it subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. A couple minutes ago, I mentioned something having to do with Holiday World, and that is the fact that the weekend after this, which is when I'm recording this, is Labor Day weekend. And on that Saturday, I will be going to Holiday World. So I will be heading up there with Ryan and Ellis, and uh, hopefully Raven's gonna be open. So I'm excited to get on that, and of course, uh, see how good Thunderbird, Voyage, and Legend are running. Actually, Ryan was there last year. He didn't ride Legend. So it'll be his first time on it in uh, two years. So that'll be an awesome time. So stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.